The Holy Spirit prays for you. He prays perfect prayers. He knows every detail about your character, about your mind, about your nature. And he prays prayers that are perfected just for you. So I have the Holy Spirit in me praying for me. And he prays with groanings, meaning passion, vigor. And those groanings cannot be expressed in words. Why? Because they're cries of the Spirit within me. Now, Romans 8.26 here is not specifically describing the gift of tongues, but it is talking about the source of that gift. What do I mean by that? I mean that the Holy Spirit's prayers for me are what I am praying when I pray in tongues. Let me show you something. 1 Corinthians 14.14 14 says, For if I pray in tongues... My spirit is praying, but I don't understand what I am saying. Now, wait a minute. I have a praying grandmother. It's a huge advantage in life. Many of you know the love of the grandmother. You can do no wrong. A great preacher once told me that when you're preaching on television or to a camera, he says, don't picture a big crowd because that gets overwhelming. This picture of one person you can preach to helps to picture your grandma because everything you say, she just loves. <laughs> Man, when my grandmother would pray for me, Holy Ghost. She still does. Holy Ghost. I mean, bedtime, praying in tongues. My parents pray for me. One of those points in my life when I was dealing with that anxiety I remember my, pra my parents praying. They were like warriors in the spirit, breaking bondages, praying in the Holy Ghost. Power. I would travel all over the place when I was a teenager. I would go from meeting to meeting to meeting to get that man of God to lay hands on me or that woman to lay hands on me. I would get to every prophetic service and sit right in the front row because I wanted a word. Some of you know what I'm talking about. You know, they just sit a certain way, maybe wear a brighter color, do their hair a little higher, and they're like, hey, okay, I'm right here. Prophesy over me. <laughs> Unless you have sin, then you're hiding in the back. You don't want them to prophesy over you. <laughs> but the reality is that when those people are praying for me, they're praying with limitations. But when the Holy Ghost prays for you, he prays for you with more love than does your grandmother. He prays for you with more passion than do your parents. He prays with more passion for you than you pray for your children. You talk about men and women of God laying hands on you, and that's a wonderful thing. But the Holy Spirit himself wants to lay hands on you. The Holy Spirit himself wants to move on you. He prays for me. Nobody knows how to pray like the Holy Spirit knows how to pray. All of my flaws, he's praying against those. All of my shortcomings, he's praying against those. All of those gifts in me, he's praying to stir those. The Holy Spirit prays for me. When I pray in tongues, my spirit is praying. Meaning, when you pray in tongues, the Holy Spirit is praying for you through you. No, 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 no. You didn't hear what I said. When you pray in tongues, the Holy Spirit inside of you is using your mouth to vocalize his prayers in this realm. What an advantage in life that the Holy Spirit prays for me. And whatever comes about as a result of a stronger spirit comes about as a result of me praying in tongues. For the scripture says in 1 Corinthians 14.4, a person who speaks in tongues is strengthened personally, edified personally. Their spirit is grown personally. That means 
Whatever comes about as a result of me growing my spirit comes about as a result of me praying in tongues. When I pray in tongues, I can hear the voice of the Holy Spirit more clearly. When I pray in tongues, my evangelism is emboldened. When I pray in tongues, my spiritual gift is activated and becomes more potent. When I pray in tongues, revelation flows with ease. When I pray in tongues, I have a stronger resistance to temptation. When I pray in tongues, my nature begins to change. My character begins to change. When I pray in tongues, I start to walk different and talk different and act different. When I pray in tongues, there's something about my life that becomes transformed. When I pray in tongues, I see greater miracles. When I pray in tongues, I cast out more devils. When I I pray in tongues, I see glory to glory to glory. When I pray in tongues, my ministry is improved. When I pray in tongues, there is power that comes from the Holy Ghost. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.